In this video, we'll explore the concept of an interest-free loan and we'll see how and under what conditions it makes sense to use or accept an interest-free loan. So let's say you have a used car dealer that offers you a car at $3,000 with 0% financing. So you drive out with the car today and you repay $3,000 a year from now. Or if you pay cash today, he will let you have the car for $2,550. So what should you do? Which option should you choose? So to do that, let's construct uh, the cash flows for the various uh, periods. There's a year zero, which is today, and year one, which is a year from now or 12 months from now. And there is a 0% option. And there is the pay in full option. Now, if you were to choose a 0% option, today you pay $0. But a year from now, you pay $3,000. If you were to choose the pay in full option, today you pay $2,550 and a year from now you pay $0. So which of these is better? Now to understand this, you should think of the 0% option as really um, the car dealer offering you a $2,550 loan today. So if he is willing to accept $2,550 of cash today and let you drive out with the car, then if you choose this option, what he's really saying is he's going to give you a loan of $2,550 so that you have to pay out $0 today, but in return, you'll have to repay him $3,000 a year from now. And by the way, these are your cash flows. So I'm just going to make that here, your cash flow. So this is the money that's going out of your pocket. So to, be, to understand the interest rate that he's really charging, you should look at this as uh, a loan of this amount here received today and you repay that, you repay um, this amount here a year from now. So what is the implied interest rate? That is simple, that is basically this divided by this minus one. And actually I'll format that into percentage so 17.65% is the interest rate that this car dealer is charging you by offering you this particular deal. Now, another way to compute that is by computing the differential cash flows between these two alternatives. The differential cash flow is really a difference between alternative one and alternative two cash flows. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that here and now you just compute IRR of DCF. Differential cash flow is IRR of these two at some guess interest rate. So you can see how this is also the same as this interest rate here. Let me increase the decimal points and it's exactly identical. So another way to compute the interest rate that the car dealer is charging you is to compute the differential cash flows and compute the IRR or the internal rate of return for this uh, differential cash flows. Now, supposing you have a more complex set of cash flows, and that is normally the case. If you have a used car dealer, then let me just actually copy this uh, over into the next cell and and here you see um, year zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's say you have the 0% option and you basically pay, um, let's say the price of the car is uh, 3000. So you basically pay nothing in the zero tier, but in each subsequent year you pay uh, one fourth of the price of the car. And I'm going to make it dollar so I can copy this all the way here. So you're paying $750 every year, but here you're just paying uh, $2,550. So which of these is better, right? So here you just pay zero, 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 or here it's zero. So you can either choose a 0% option and pay $750 every year to uh, add up to $3,000, which is the full price of the car, or you can choose to pay $2,550 down immediate and forget about all further payments. So which of these is better, right? So here the internal rate of return for the differential cash flows is very helpful. So very simply you just compute the internal rate of it. You compute the differential cash flows and then you compute the 
IRR of D equals IRR of 0 0.1 and your interest rate is 6.83 percent so that is the true interest rate that your dealer is charging you even though it is quote unquote a zero percent loan now you want to decide if you can afford this interest rate and the way you do that is by asking yourself whether you can put down two thousand five hundred dollars in cash if you can the alternative is to put that in the bank and if you get an interest rate higher than this in the bank then you should put it in the bank or if you get a lower interest rate in the bank than 6.83 which is more likely then you should just use that money to pay down your car rather than take that zero percent option from the dealer so i hope this is useful thanks for watching and check out more videos on codable.com